Hi, I'm Daniel Douglas with D3 Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to talk about ellipses and constraints. So I'm going to go over to my sketch drop down menu, select the only ellipse tool, I'm going to place it semi minor axis first and semi major axis second. I can place them in whichever order, depending on the situation. Next, I'm going to dimension it, I'm going to place it space. I'm going to change that. There we go. I'm going to do the same here. I'm going to bring it really close. Let's do 20. There we go. So we can do that kind of positioning in order to get it where we want. And then I can dimension the semi-major axis. And then I click on the curve again and I can dimension the semi-minor axis. Okay, and then I can change my position, and all is well. All the dimensions are retained, and it is fully constrained. Next, I want to show you how to use the conic curve. You place the first point and the second point, and then you place the vertex. Okay, then you alter your curvature. these points are all fixed, although there are no constraints. Dimensioning it will not give me a constrained appearance. It will not turn it from pink to white. So do not be alarmed. I right, hope this was informative. Have a lovely day.